As far as the Snowden leaks are concerned, India was ranked on top of the list among the BRICS nations, uh, which was snooped upon by the NSA. Your thoughts on that? Um, you know, ultimately, uh, the, what came out from the Snowden uh, leak information related to who was, uh, you know, spied upon and looked at and why, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I can understand from a standpoint of any country or any individual that was on that list or it looked like that they felt they were affected by it, why they would be, uh, you know, frustrated and concerned. Because part of this, regardless of the prosecution and, uh, you know, uh, trying to investigate this type of crime is there's still a level of uh, respect and privacy uh, that, that should be granted to any person no matter what country they're from unrelated to any type of criminal investigation if it's going to be something that they're going to spy upon or, or, or look into it needs to be done the right way and through the proper legal channels well uh, India is clearly very high up there in the number of requisitions for information requests for information that it uh, has also the number of takedown requests but if you go to companies like Facebook, Google, the number of requests for information, for deep dive information is very high for India. It's a very, very high level of concern. Uh, India does not have privacy laws and therefore uh, privacy is simply not there in the list of you know, even 100 priorities for the government. So that's a deep area of concern. The European Union, etc., are looking very high at privacy and privacy has come above uh, you know, surveillance and law enforcement needs and they have a different problem there. In India, it's law enforcement is completely above the law. Government is often above the law. Citizen individual privacy is just non-existent. Today, cyberspace allows you the intrinsic capability to attack any other nation using computer systems and networks, often thereby doing activities undermining the sovereignty, integrity or security of nations. And in that context, it's essential to look at how does the legal regimes of the world try to cover these important challenges, more so now with the deep web coming in. The dark web today is a big challenge for all nations. In fact, all nations are today vulnerable and they have virtually no idea of how they will deal with this complicated issue of the dark net where cybercrime as an economy and cybercrime as a way of life are the de facto norms.